Hi, everyone. This is Kevin DeLeon, your learning consultant for Cengage Learning. Um, I wanted to do a video on um, things that you can do with the ebook and how you can customize and all that kind of stuff. So um, here's a really short video for you on that. Um, so the ebook for each chapter is located inside um, the chapter in this unit view. Okay. There's also a place that you can get to the full ebook over here on the app doc, which is over here on the right. And it's this icon that looks like a book. And so if you'd like to get to just the full book, anything that you like, this is probably the, um, the easiest place to go. One thing that you'll notice here um, is that you cannot highlight, read, speak, take notes, really anything. Um, you can print out of here, but this is where the full book is. Okay, And you can get to different pages here. You can go to different chapters. Okay, And you can use this bar down here to get to different chapters or sections if you like. Change the text size, all kinds of things, even print. So if you have some students um, that did not buy the loose leaf copy of the book um, with the package at the bookstore, um, and they just bought MindTap, um, they can print out of here either the section or the entire reading. Okay. Additionally, if you'd like to search the MindTap ebook or really anything in MindTap, you can use this search app up here. Maybe you want to look for something you know, about, how about public policy? So I typed in policy and it gave me all these options here. So maybe I really want public policy. So I'm going to click that. Okay. And my, and the search app is going to search for anywhere inside MindTap and or the ebook where public policy is located. And things you can search for are uh, page numbers, content, really anything. So here's public policy. We've got some definitions here. Public policy is located in these different activities here. It's also in the ebook. Notice this is an activity because it's a paper and a pencil. This is an ebook. You'll notice because there's an icon that looks like a book. And if I click on any of these, they would be hyperlinked to where it would be inside of MindTap. So that's a really good thing to know, and they're highlighted. Additionally, um, there is um, a link to the ebook inside of each chapter. Now, every mind tap is slightly different. Some of them have one link per chapter. Some of them are broken out in folders for different sections. They're all a little different. But what you're going to want to look for is any of these icons where it looks like there's a book. Okay, so I'm going to click click into this one. Okay. And so here we are, okay? And so there's a couple of things that you can do as an instructor. Again, you can print, you or the students. Maybe you have students that wanted to save a little bit of money and bought MindTap but still want some paper. They might only need to print out a couple of pages a week to bring with them to scribble on and flip through and those types of things as opposed to purchasing the whole book. So this is a great option for them. If you click this read speaker option up here, you can have the entire page read aloud to you. Okay. Um, and we do this for ADA compliance, but um, it's a really great way to help the content or the information sink in as well. Up here, you can edit. This is the edit mode by clicking this pencil. When you click it, you'll notice that there are some orange dots that will appear. And here, you can add content. Okay, and so you could add an RSS feed, a YouTube video, maybe a homework assignment, a web link, or any content that you might have on your computer. And we'll get into customizing in a different video. Anywhere that you see a bolded item, you can click and get the definition. These are glossary terms. Okay. Anytime you highlight and release your mouse, you will get these options. You can highlight in any different color. You can use the dictionary, add a note, have the text read to you, or add a flashcard. When you add a flashcard, this would be the definition. And then you can add the name and then save so that it goes into your flashcard stack. Now, if you'd like to highlight, maybe we can highlight that in yellow. We can highlight this in purple. Now, a new feature that you have that you might have already seen is this guy right here. It's an orange highlight, and it means it's a shared highlight. So we're going to share this note with this highlight with your students. 
So now you can go through your ebook and highlight things that are important to you, and it will show up for your students, which is really, really cool, and helps kind of pick out some of the important things that are necessary for them to, to know. Additionally, we can take notes. This is really important. Now, I could also share this with my students. So I can now can share highlights and notes with my students, and I can click Save. And if your students don't know what the word framework means, maybe they can use the dictionary, which is pretty cool as well. Also inside the ebook, again, we can change this, the font size. We can bookmark a page in case this is a really important page. There's a little help button in case you need it, which will show you what to do and where. Okay. And then if you need to get from a different page, you can come here over on the right and flip through. And you can also use this guy below to get to different sections.